Growing up, there was a lot of toys that we wanted. Some we got, some we didn't. And then there were some that we got that we end up wishing we didn't get. But let's look at my top 10 worst toys I ever got. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you. What are we talking about today? Well, we're going to look at 10 disappointing toys that I got for Christmas or birthday or whatever. This is toys that I really wanted. Some of them you might agree with them. Some of you might not. Um, this toys I really wanted. I saw a commercial for it. I was really excited. Then I got it, and what a letdown it was. I'm sure you got your own list also. But I thought it'd be fun to look at least 10 of them that I got. Maybe you got some, uh, like I said, maybe some on this list you agree with. And maybe some did. Maybe you're like, I had that, and I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, as always, like support this channel, go into Patreon, become a Patreon member or YouTube member. All that information is below. Or go to thatjunkman.com. Well, right now, shirts on sale for $13. If, well, it depends on if you're watching this the day I upload it. If you're watching it six years from now, go check it out anyway. Junkmanmerch.com. You can get this shirt right here. Now, we wasted your time long enough. I got right here 10 things, 10 toys I was disappointed in. Okay, are you ready? Number one, it's a classic, the Slinky. I know what you, Jumpman, how can you not like a Slinky? Well, to be honest with you, I, I used to always see the commercials. You know, they go downstairs. They always talk about how they go down steps. Slinky, Slinky, the wonderful toy. What walks downstairs with loner and pairs and makes a slinkity sound. I could never get this thing to go down any stairs. Now, at my house, growing up, we had two stairs. We had one going down to the basement, one coming from upstairs where my bedroom was, down to the main part of the house. Never could get it to do anything. Had it on carpet, had it on non-carpet, went to a friend's house. You might, if you put it around the edge, get it to go down one step, maybe two. I've never seen anyone to be able to get it to go down steps, like the commercial said. So, And it would fool me over and over again. I would get it, hate it. A couple years later, see a commercial again. i got to get a slinky. Fall for it again. Wouldn't work. And then my friend Mike would probably stretch it out too long anyway, where it wouldn't hardly work anymore. And then... I think it was around the 90s, they started doing plastic slinkies. Don't even get me started on that. And I didn't even bring up when that slinky would pinch your skin. Ouch! Was anything worse than that? Uh-oh, I think not. Get a slinky in a size and color you like, in metal or plastic. Now, let's go with number two, although they're not really in any order right here. Monopoly. Is anything worse than playing Monopoly? Oh my God, I hate Monopoly. Has anyone ever played Monopoly until the very end? I don't think it's ever happened. I don't think it's ever happened. What happens? You play a Monopoly, someone gets bored, and they end up quitting the game, so you all have to quit the game. Or someone gets upset that another player brought, bought all the good property, and he ends up throwing the board across the room. Either way, it sucks. Monopoly, it lasts about six hours. It's horrible. No one likes Monopoly. Ugh, hate it when somebody would say, hey, you want to play a game of Monopoly? Shit, no! God dang, what a bad throw. So, Monopoly's out the window. We don't like Monopoly. And here's one I've talked about a lot of times. It's, just, it's like still in my head because I wanted it so bad. For about a year, I begged for this thing called the Burbot. This is a robot showing the commercial. They would go get you a, a can of Coke or something and bring it back to you. This thing was a oh, rubber ball. You had, to, you had to program what you wanted to say, living room, or raise arm, and it would never, and then you get a little thing you had to speak into, it would never understand you, at least it wouldn't understand my hick voice. Go right. You can control for bot with your own voice. Go left. Go left. I said left. Kill a left arm. It never would work. Hated that thing. So disappointed. It looked cool, don't get me wrong, but I thought I was going to have my own personal R2-D2. I was. Really let down for sure. Verbot. Mission accomplished. The first Oh, Verbot. Oh, get out of here, Verbot. Who's next? Oh, here we go for you, video games fan. I'm sure you'll agree with this one. It's written right here on the card. The Power Glove. Was anything more disappointing than the Power Glove? I mean, if you saw the movie, the Fred Savage masterpiece Wizard. You saw how cool the Power Glove was. I love the Power Glove. It's so bad. 
But oh no, they didn't tell you you had to put this big plastic bar on top of your television, another one on the side of your television, and it would always fall off. You had to tape it up there or put something on top of it. It would never stand. And then you get it all set up. You would have to punch in these codes and make more. It would never work. It would never work. I've never, I've never seen such trash. At least the Burbot would still look cool. And you might could get it to do a little something. The Power Glove, it would just make you so angry you would end up throwing it away. What I did, I just took the cord off, walked around with the power glove on my arm because it looked rad. Uh, where are we at now? Uh, let's go to Star Wars. You guys like Star Wars? You know I like Star Wars. This one's a personal memory of mine. That's FX7. Now, I'm not saying this is the worst Star Wars figure ever. We all know. Imperial Dignitary. Imperial Dignitary. But I didn't have the Imperial Dignitary growing up. I didn't even know about it until in the 90s. I can remember going into Kmart. They had all the Star Wars figures in the eight-foot section. And my grandma was like, get you a new Star Wars figure. Started digging through. Luke Bespin, Han Hall. It's like, I had all these. I had all these. There I saw it. FX7. Looked at it. Hmm. Tried to remember my head in the movie. And I was like, you know, we didn't have VCRs. Then, so I was trying to remember. And I was like, oh, yeah, I think I remember this guy it was back when Luke was sick. I'm going to get it. It's the only one I don't have, so I have to get it. Got home. Then found out, you only added about 30 second of uh, play time. Because uh, uh, get all your figures out, you let them take care of one sick person, and you're like, this is horrible. I'm much where they bought a figure I already had. Another Snowtrooper would have given me more enjoyment than this FX7. Once you put his little arms out and made him uh, operate on somebody, it was not, ugh. I was just really let down. I was like, oh my God, this is boring. This is horrible. Now, it's not the worst figure again. Like I said, it's not the worst. It surely isn't anywhere in the top 10 best that's for sure uh where are we at now cliffhangers i don't know if you remember this one here this was the racetrack they advertised it on television i think they still make it today i'm not sure but they advertised this was a racetrack it wasn't your dad's racetrack it wasn't your brother's racetrack this was yours because it was so unique it would go up walls half of the track would go up the side of the wall i could never get the track to stay up it would end up falling down if you did get it up the cars would go maybe almost halfway and then fall off you had to have a lot of speed to go around that loop and i never could get enough speed to go around it you rinse them through the giant loop the death-defying spiral up the wall to zero gravity it was crap. It was horrible. I hated it. Cliffhangers. Yuck. You ruined my Christmas, Cliffhanger. You ruined my Christmas. And then we have Domino Riley. I know. This is something else I think they still make today. Oh my God. This was just dominoes. But they were real small. It took you all day to set them all up. You set them all up. And then after all day, you push them down. They were supposed to go make this cool, you know, like dominoes. When you knock them all down, it's supposed to look cool and everything. They go up, they make all different kinds of sets. I had the basic set. Anyway, it took you all freaking day to get all these set up. You push down the domino, probably about 10 of them fall, and then it wouldn't do anything. So you had to start, you had to stand those 10 back up, knock it down, 30 would fall, had to stand them back up. And then finally, you get lucky, push the dominoes, they, and they all fall down. So after about seven hours setting this thing up, you had about 4.3 seconds of fun. I did it one, I think I played with it one day. Took me all day to set them all, all up. Took me a second to get them all done. I sang. Put that thing in the attic. I never, never touched it again. Never touched it again. God dang it, never touched it again. <sighs> okay. What we at? Oh, right here walkie talkies any walkie talkie i ever got was a letdown i remember asking for it many times christmas birthdays how get full for it just like the slinky a walkie talkie and i was like see i had a friend lived across the street and another one that lived more of an angle kind of across the street and i was like this is cool we can lay in our rooms in our bedroom and talk to each other parents won't know to be like go to bed it's like oh we're in bed talking on this walkie talkie Never worked. You couldn't get this thing. You couldn't never get a walkie-talkie to work more than two feet apart. As soon as you, as soon as the person took four steps away from you, the walkie-talkie sucked. And not mention that. Fuck. When, when I did have a friend over, want to play walkie-talkie, we we're close together. He always wanted to do that Mars code button. Hated that Mars code button. Walkie-talkies always, always 
was a letdown. They sucked. Always. Always a letdown. They sucked. Here's one I couldn't even find a picture for. I googled these and I know they were popular. They were like Hot Wheel cars, but they were generic. Your grandma usually end up buying for you. You get them at a you get a pack of like ten of them at the store. But they were metal cars, but they had no they were hollow bottoms, really thin tires. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Because I Googled and I could not even find a photo of these things. But they were, you know, you could for a dollar you could get like twenty of them. They were horrible. And I had a lot of Hot Wheel cars and at times I was like, hey grandma, give me some Hot Wheel cars when you come over. She'd come over with these stupid Generic. They were all what never cool looking cars. They all look like the cars from the 1950s. Not even the cool cars from the 1950s. Had a hollow bottom. It was all metal. No bottom underneath. Just flip it over and you can see the reverse side of the top of the roof. And little thin wheels that would end up, ugh, hating the things. I hated those things. <laughs> this guy. Hate them. Number one. Worst thing I ever got. Toy I ever got for a present or gift or whatever. Anything anything at all my aunt gave me it don't matter what it was if my aunt was giving me a present it, it was horrible it was horrible she got me a vest one time that you could walk me to and had speakers up here yeah that's what i want i was about 15 years old that's what i want walk around in my neighborhood listen to my dwight yoakam album with speak uh then she got me a tape recorder that you put in your locker at school when i was in high school it was like an answer machine for your locker who the is gonna do that what kid in high school is gonna go up to a locker and leave a message for you i never hooked it up because i knew if i did i wouldn't get a message like hey junk team let's meet up after school no i would have got some bad stuff that's for sure some bad stuff check out phil's pants where's the flood Aaron, lunch pizza be there if you want to do well in school, you have to keep up with current events. Express it, the locker answering machine. Aaron. <laughs> Bye. That it? That was fast. Can you believe it? That was 10 of them already. I should have done 20 of them. Shit, I can't believe. That was 10 of them already. Well. Let me know some toys you really wanted. Or it doesn't have to be just toys. Something you really wanted for like Christmas or your birthday. You finally got it. And then you realize it wasn't worth the hype. That it wasn't what you thought it would be. That it was a roulette down. So let me know what toys let you down as a kid. Well, I guess that's it. As always, thumb up so I know you like my content. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk again soon. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.